the the officer it's the officer fault of course on a whole many uh, on a whole so many levels but at the same time the I didn't, when I when, when I try to when I try to like think back on situations like I don't never just think about what did what this person did wrong what this person did wrong what this person, yeah, person I did wrong did I think wrong. about what the fuck did I do wrong like like I really just that was a waste of money that shit cost me four thousand dollars to get out of this situation just for a night.
All right, we are Peace and Black Power family. You already know what it is. Welcome to another, another Sarnetta TV House of Consciousness production, Black News 102, and House of Consciousness. Working on your diet, you know what I'm saying, and you're really trying to put the best nutrients in your body and, and get your immune system right, I mean... It just showed me that I got a lot more work to keep on putting in with learning more and more about my diet and 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 boosting my immune system. So the attack the the attack of that cold or that virus hit me hard. So but I'm getting over it. Um I think I'll be able to hit a few notes. Just a couple quite a couple. Okay, um brother, I noticed you call yourself P U P. What does that mean? What does it stand for? And what it represent? PUP actually stands for Pain United with Passion. Okay. Um, the 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 reason why I put the, those the acronym behind it is because it's what I represent. Um, I represent a person that has done the work as far as soul searching, going through the conflicts. And um, taking action to better myself. And when I did a lot of soul searching, I realized I had a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And when I connected with that pain, I, I utilized me being a passionate person and put it through my music, put it through my art, put it through just pretty much everything that I do now. Okay. Um, what we want to do right now is open up. Open up with one of the songs. Oh, let me let y'all know too, family. This brother right here is definitely a House of Consciousness family member. This brother right here have been writing songs for the House of Consciousness that you love so much. You see the people say, oh, man, who be writing your songs when you get them? Well, this brother right here is one of the artists, family. All right? So now you have direct contact with my brother right here. He is one of the brothers. How many songs you wrote for me? Like two or three? I actually wrote two so far. How many? I got wrote? another one coming. I wrote two. One is called um, My Condition, Breaking right. My Condition. Right. And the other one is, is pretty much a chant. A chant of Sa Netta T V. Sa Netta T V. Sa Netta T V. Sa Netta T V. So. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, family, is open up with one of the songs before we go any further. Uh, you want to stand? You want to sit? It's all good. Whichever way you want to do it. I, I, I'm, I get very uh, amped. Me, like I say, I'm a passionate person. So right, right, with right. me being passionate, I move. I can get fidgety. So, yeah, I want to stand. And, um, you know, let, you want to do it with the song, with the, with the song playing or a cappella? I, I want it with the song. With the song? All right, let's go. Let's hit that song. Keep it, because we all got a condition, and it's time to break that condition. When you actually subscribe to Sidenetta TV, you're breaking the condition, the mental di condition that we are all trapped in. Listen, channel you watch, it ain't better. Go run it back, 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 run it back. We, we want to get it right, because I'm just trying to make sure I get that message behind to the people to know that we breaking our condition when you watch Sidenetta TV. So, my condition, I'm breaking my condition. My condition, I'm breaking my condition. My condition, I'm breaking my condition. Subscribe to Sidenetta and I'm breaking my condition. Whatever channel you watch, it ain't better. That's why you gotta subscribe to Sarnetta Go back and take what was took Sankofa It's about to be a day where they got to give what they owe us How about knowledge of self? That's what you find here House of Consciousness about to open your mind here This is scholarship worldwide Acknowledge me We trapped in this condition and we about to break out of it My condition, I'm breaking my condition My condition, I'm breaking my condition My condition, I'm breaking my condition Subscribe to Sarnetta and I'm breaking my condition Shout out to all the scholars that come on Sarnetta TV. Shout out to Shaka Upmost, Brother Polite, Sankofa, Red Pill, Blue Pill, Brother Reggie, 
Dr. Reggie. <laughs> Let's get it right. Almond Raw squad up. Let's get it going. Let's pause that real quick because I want to break down the lyrics for you. Because one thing that I say is whatever channel you watch, it ain't better. That's why you got to subscribe to Sinetta. Because right now on the internet, on YouTube, there ain't no channel like Sinetta. There's imitators, but there ain't no channel like Sinetta that's bringing you the conscious information that you need to break your condition. And I say, go back and take what was took, Sankofa, wordplay. Because Sankofa actually stands for going back and taking back what was stolen from us. So we take back what was took, Sankofa. And I'm also shouting out my brother Sankofa that will be in the building later on. Shout out to Sankofa. Um, which is the spokesman for the House of Consciousness. Um, and I say, I say, go back and take what was took. Sankofa, there's about to be a day where they got to give what they owe us. Do you not know that that time is coming? That time, that time is now. Because with the information that we're implementing into our life, we're taking back what was took. So that's just a taste of the messages behind the lyrics in my music. So that's why I want to come here today and do a presentation on how my music has messages behind it to connect with your soul that influences change within yourself. So I want to get to um, the presentation and uh, pretty oh, much. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know, I know you pumped up. Um, talk to me about the song Kimmin' on Trial, the song that we just heard in here, yes. you know, with our brother, um, former member of Cool in the Gang, nice. former member. Talk to us about that song. What did you think about that? First and foremost, for him, for him to actually do that drop, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a legendary drop already. And, and when you really realize what he is putting, the message that he is putting in, he's literally speaking the knowledge that is displayed on Sinetta TV. And then he goes in to hitting those notes, shouting out every scholar that participates in the House of Consciousness. So, I mean, it's, it's powerful. That's, that's really what I see. I just see nothing but powerful lyrics and on top of that he did a he did a camera phone video for the drop imagine if, imagine when, imagine when he do something crazy to really like bring out the message that he put in the drop it's gonna be crazy so i mean shout out shout out to that brother right there it was just amazing let me ask you my man um how do you connect the music with the soul. You want to show us? You going to demonstrate here for us? I can, I'm going to demonstrate that through the process because it's a process. Okay. Um, one, one thing about connecting to your soul, you got to do some soul searching. And um, so I want to go ahead and break that down in the presentation because this presentation is on my album, uh, my up and coming album. My album is going to be called the battle to know thyself. And what that means is we go through a process when we are in the search for knowledge of self. Okay? And that process can be breaking down into many different categories, but me, I'm giving you my personal process. So, yep. So I want to get into that one. I want to go ahead and get into that. We, um... We pretty much already broke down who I am, who I am, paying united with passion. I am an artist, entrepreneur, visionary, and activist. Now, as an artist, what I do is take my craft and put it into my creativity to create the music, the rap lyrics, the, the visuals for the people. And as an entrepreneur, I take my creativity and I, I empower myself business-wise mm -hmm. by being an entrepreneur. 
I, st- I, I quit working. I quit working those corporate jobs. Whew, going on what? Five, six years? Six years now. I, I haven't worked a job, one of those corporate jobs in a long time because I needed to go through my process to be an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So that... Now, let me ask you something real quick. Mm-hmm. Was it scary? Because I'm going to tell you something. I had what most people would call a good job. In 2000, the time of the World Trade Center, that's when I got the hell out of there. You know, because I had what most people would call a good job. You know, working for the city. And when I saw that, I said, man, I need to create my own job. At that time, I was rolling with Khalid Muhammad heavy. And so when that happened, I just left because I said, damn, what if I could have been caught up down here with these white folks? I said, man, let me get the hell out of here and create my own business. So at one point, I was kind of worried, like, damn, would my people support me? If I'm doing this, is they going to back me up and support me? And I just took a hell of a chance. I just dropped that job and I went on and created my own business. And as you can see today, yes, it did work. So it did kind of put fear in my heart to drop that and I understand how a lot of people are out there that want to create their own job they say damn well is my people going to support me am I going to be all right with this or something like that so I had what was considered a quote-unquote good job you know so I'm asking you did that put some type of fear in you to say well damn I need to leave them and I'm gonna do my own thing now yes um to be honest with you what you just said was key You said it put fear in my heart. So as a man, you recognized it. And as a as as me being a man, I'ma recognize it too. It scared the living hell out of me. (laughs) Cause you don't know what you're gonna do. You gotta pay bills, you gotta make sure everything is gonna work. So I just took that gamble. Yes. I mean a little bit about myself. I had my first child uh when I was seventeen. Um, and so I was young and I knew that I needed to work a job and I went straight for the, um, for the corporate jobs. I I wore the, 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 the suit and ties. I was a salesman. Um, I did a lot of, a lot of sales jobs. I sold cell phones, sold cars, um, sold tires for town fair tire. Um, and when it, when it was time to leave, I was working like 60 hours a week. 60 hours a week and I said you know what it's killing me mentally physically spiritually it's killing me I have I know I have what it takes in myself to provide for my family so why don't I just put that belief in myself why don't these these jobs are training me brainwashing me to run their system Brain, they brain, when you go through those training programs, they're brainwashing you, literally, so you can run and operate their system without them. And when you, when, when I say without them, that means when you are being a manager and you think you got your own store, you're really running and operating the store with their mind, with their mind. And that was not me. I knew that I need to connect with me. So That's what took me on this journey of knowledge of self. And it was to really find my purpose. And my purpose in life is to be a source for empowerment. Because I want to be that example of a positive transformation and evolution. Because, for example... When you go through that process, like you were just saying, you got to now step back and leave your job. Mm-hmm. When you got to get over that fear, by getting over that fear, you got to go deep with inside yourself. You got to now evolve as a person. You have to now step up to the plate as a person yeah. and say, you know what? Let me do this. Let me do it. Let me go with my purpose. And that's what, that's what um, this whole entire thing is about. It's really like showing the people to connect to, to, connect to your purpose. Because your purpose in life will bring change to this world. So if everyone was living for their purpose, just imagine what type of world we'll actually have. 
if you i don't think there i don't think there's nobody that's watching right now can admit that their purpose in life is to destroy the world that that's just not even yeah that's not even you know that's that's just that's evil right there that's just something that you can't even step on and play with if you're going to even think that way so if you know that you got a purpose in life you will want that purpose to be the better for yourself, the better for your family, and the better for your environment and overall the world. So my process to know thyself starts off with soul searching. And once you get into soul searching, that's when you battling, that's when you're battling through with your fear, you're battling through the doubt, you're battling through your pain that you go through. And that's going to bring you right around to conflict. Because now you're not only in conflict with yourself, but what you're, what you're starting to do is get into you battling with the, your environment, battling with your close loved ones that you thought was very close and understanding to you. But when they see that you're now becoming more about yourself and not doing what the normal is, that begins to create conflict and then once you say you know what I'm gonna take this conflict head on I'm gonna stand up for what I'm look, look, look. just like how y'all say on, on, on side of the TV I'm gonna stand on my square and take this conflict head on and I'm gonna be myself and then you go to action you take action and taking action Taking action is where it's going to get you to the point that I'm at now, where I am an entrepreneur, visionary, independent, knowledge of self, confident in my work and my, and my ability and my service to the people. Just like Sanetta being confident in everything that he has put together. So soul searching. Let's start off with soul searching. And in the category of soul searching on my album, there's three songs that I want you to pay attention to. Mind, Body, and Soul. Peace of Mind. Yep. And Peace of Mind and I've Changed. Now, Mind, Body, and Soul. Mind, Body, and Soul is... We got to go back. Mind, body, and soul is the self-reflection point, okay? This is going to allow yourself to tap in to what you are suppressing. Now, here we go. We starting from point one, the phase one, to actually do some self-reflection on yourself. So when I look back at myself, I realize that there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of confusion. And when you live in that normal life and you got to go work your nine to five job and you just want to hang out and go to the club and do and just do the normal stuff, you know, you're suppressing. You're suppressing your pain, your anger, your confusion, your depression. You're suppressing all of that. And I actually want to get into the song. Let's play the song. Just the first verse in the hook. We're just going to play the first verse in the hook, and then I'm going to break down the bars and the lyrics behind the song so you can actually, you know, feel it a little bit. Let's so feel this song right here. It's called Mind, Body, and Soul. I'm going to free my mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. I'm going to free my mind, body, and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. I'm a free mind, body and soul. Mind, body and soul. Looking at all the pain I done caused. All the things that ain't right, 
Looking at all the lines I done cross Equals up to all the years in my life Wondering why I wander so long Should I go left or should I go right? It's only because I got called uh, I ain't about that life I'm free in my mind, body, and soul Mind, body, and soul My soul connecting my mind Controlling my body so I can go Away from all these demons Breaking me even, leaving me broke it's only making me cold, it's only making me cold, not caring, leaving me froze, no trust, I see and no truth, can I get away from all the lies too, ain't no telling what I might do, but it's a lot of shit you don't know, who's really in control, cause when you look past all the lies, you come to realize what's real is your soul, I'm a free mind, my answer. that's awesome right there, Woo! You, you feel me? Oh, do y'all feel me? That's just, that's just phase one. Mm -hmm. That's just phase one. I'm looking at all the pain I done caused. All the things that ain't right. I'm looking at all the lines I done crossed that equals out to all the years in my life. I'm literally take, I'm literally reflecting on myself. Reflecting on my pain. Reflecting, look. All the things that ain't right. Even all the things that I've done that ain't right. Everybody know that we done did. We done, we've been doing some messed up shit. We all from the hood. We done did it. When you, when you realize that, that's when you say, ah, you first got to recognize it. And then you Wondering why I wander so lost. Should I go left or should I go right? It's only because I got caught up. I ain't about that life. Come on now. Everybody want to say, huh, you ain't living that life. You ain't about that life. You don't got to be about that life. You don't got to be about that life. That life has been killing our people for hundreds of years now. We, we've been trapped in, the, in these conditions for way too long. And we, we, it's proved, it's proven that it ain't helping us. So it's time to get out of that. Can I hear that one more time? One Let's more run time. that back one more time. Go back, go back over there with the mic. Let's go, Ray, because I want the people to really feel that song right there. And I want you to also want to tell them where they can go. I'm going to say Equals up to all the years in my life Wondering why I wander so long Should I go left or should I go right It's only because I got called uh, I ain't about that life I'm free of my mind, body and soul Mind, body and soul My soul connecting my mind Controlling my body so I can go Away from all these demons Breaking me even, leaving me broke It's only making me cold it's only making me cold, not caring, leaving me froze. No trust, I see and no truth. Can I get away from all the lies too? Ain't no telling what I might do, but it's a lot of shit you don't know. Who's really in control? Cause when you look past all the lies, you come to realize what's real is your soul. I'm a free mind, body inside. Yeah, that's real talk right there. I said, my soul connects to my mind. Controlling my body so I can go. My soul connects to my mind. Controlling my body so I can go. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to get technical on the, the words. When I say soul, I'm talking about that living, that living energy that you have within yourself. I'm not speaking in the religious terms. I'm speaking about knowing that you have a spirit, knowing that 
You are not just this physical form. When that soul connects to your mind, your mind controls this physical form. You understand? So the soul connects to your mind. The mind is your thoughts. The thoughts control your actions. So there we go. We're going from here to there to now your actions. And what happens is that's what's going to bring me to the next song, which is peace of mind. Peace of mind is the releasing point. It's the releasing point where you tap in and connect with the pain and the depression and it keeps you connected to your soul to release the pain you have suppressed all this time. So once you recognize it, you can release it. And I'll give you a couple lyrics from that, uh, from this song. Now this song, it doesn't even have any rap lyrics in it, right? This is just straight soulful, very soulful. I was, I was really inspired um, by, by, the, by the way that Michael Jackson taps into his soul. So with this song, I really had to get into my Michael Jackson state of mind and really just find that peace in music that I find when I listen to old school, old school music like Michael Jackson. You got that James Brown too? Yes, yeah. I do have that James Brown. <clears throat> and um, so your soul, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, so here's just some lyrics from The Peace of Mind. On the second verse, I go in and I say, <clears throat> I go in and I say, Let's see, we'll actually play a little bit of it. There we go. Now you see, it's a, it's a very smooth feel to it. Very subtle feel. Trust me, I go high in the notes with this one too. Just in the first verse, I'm recognizing, I'm recognizing my hurt. I'm recognizing my pain. And then in the second verse, I release it. I ask, am I free to be free? No holding on, let go of me. I need to breathe, I hear my breath. Now the breath. The breath represents meditation and going into deeper thoughts. Because when you are tapping into your soul, you are, you're, you're having that conversation with yourself. You're asking yourself, am I free? Can I be as free as I want to be? And when you know your worth, you know you can be as free as you want to be. So that's peace of mind. That's how peace of mind helps you stay connected to your soul. So when you play peace of mind, you could just go on a nice long ride in the car and just zone out. Or just go by yourself and just zone out. And just great let as you think about been telling you yourself. Is it, is, it as great, so is it as great as what you've been lying to yourself about? What do you need to change? Think about these things. Think about 
internally what you have to do and then take and then and then take take it on take it head on my next song that that I that I go that I go in with is going to show you that I am taking it head on and that's I've changed I change in the first verse I express the stress and depression waiting wanting to change things in my life but felt powerless to do it so when you find that power within yourself because the power ain't out there it's within yourself and when you find that power within yourself you solidify your change and that's what the hook actually does it solidifies the change and you commit yourself to your change that you want to go through even in verse 2 it makes the commitment to change after realizing the power is in me it ain't in this white pale white face right here is it nope. <laughs> exactly it is right here in the onk of life see I'm reading this book right here you actually had the brother on your um on your channel Alfonso McGriff the third right. from Hartford Connecticut right. he wrote this book I'm sitting there reading in bed with my daughter and empowering myself as I read because that's what it takes. It's what you are going to do to empower yourself. So let's get into the song I've changed and we're going to play the first verse in the hook. If Sarnetta wanted to keep going, we'll go into the second verse. It's on Sarnetta. Let's get it. Huh? Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. Yeah. Listen. This is just the cycle I keep going around, keep going around, keep going around, keep going around, okay. As I'm running through this cycle, different visions, different intentions, different positions, but nothing ever change. Racing in time, losing my mind, cause I want to provide better love. But it always seems this isn't me or who I can be. Help me. The deeper your pain, the deeper you are asking for change. Open your eyes. I'm changing myself. I'm changing myself. I'm changing myself. Now, have you got enough part to that? Like, what's the rest? That's the second. What I think, right? To really blow this up, too, I think you need to come in with a rap lyric come with that. Lyric? Like, you know, like, whatever you do, like something powerful that's you. Cause that shit'll be awesome right there. You keep going, cause see, you want to catch the other you. Yes, of course, of course, of course. So let, let's hit the next verse. Let, let's. He want to hit the next verse. All right. Whoo. Got to change. I'm changing myself. I'm changing myself. my eyes open my eyes changing my am i really gonna lose my mental am i really that down in need i really need to find myself without me i can't breathe i empower me i empower me don't look outside of me because they can't see I used to think that there's a white God in the sky and only through him I can wash these tears away. 
But then I woke up and I realized I am God And with the strength of me I'll take this pain away Huh? I am the example of the change I want to see It's the hook, huh? Yeah, we can rock out to that one all day. <laughs> uh, to that. Yeah, we got to like, rock out to that with him. Like a, a rap, a rap. behind that. That's what I do. I rap and I yeah, sing, you I know. know. Let's, let's, I, I could add it in there. Oh, I could add. Sure. Let me shout out my brother San Kofa in the building. Peace, peace. Yo, peace and black power, I family. Him, I should have made you take that damn jacket off <laughs> before you came in his house, man. Why? The New York Knicks house, brother. Baby, the Knicks, uh, the Knicks are nowhere. The nowhere Knicks. Oh, you said the New York Knicks. Yeah. I thought you said the nowhere Knicks. You know I thought you said no, it's a Boston thing. That's where I'm from. Everybody know that. I'm repping it. it had nothing to do with the teams per se. But I do want to say this, my brother right here. It's a pleasure and honor to uh, be in your presence and to be vibing and building with you and hearing you and seeing you do your thing in person and seeing you once again. It's always a pleasure. This is a powerful brother right here. Man, you you know? already know we're going to have something for the music brothers out there. Yo, yo, you know, powerful brother. And you know what? I want to say this. I'm going to be brief because I'm going to let the brother get back into you what he's doing. I, I, I'm learning. It's a process. It's a long, slow process like Al Sharpton's perm, but we're going to make it happen, you know? <laughs> no, but what I wanted to say, man, you know, music is very important because what we're trying to do is battle for the hearts and mind of the youth, for the people in general, but in particularly, in particularly the youth, which is our future, okay? Our best resource is our youth, okay? And we have to understand that, you know, in this battle for the hearts and the minds of the youth, we got to understand that we have brothers out there kicking knowledge. We have scholars. We have intellects. We have people who are into the healing, into the holistic health sciences. But one of the biggest things that are the most captivating powers on the minds of our youth and our people in general that has the most influence on our people, and particularly our youth, but our people in general, is music. Yes. And understanding how um, music it, even the etymology of the word music comes from the Greek word muse. Muse is inspired to, you know, it has a lot to do with, you know, raising up um, feelings and emotions within somebody's, um, you know, in somebody's self, you know? See, and, know that. and that's why even they have it in an amusement park. The word muse is in there. You're amused, mm -hmm. something that taps into your feelings, wow. you know? So when they're able to go into our music, which has a very powerful impact captivating ability attraction power and influence on the minds of our people in general but in particularly the youth we have to counter that by having music that's relevant music that raises the frequency that raises the vibration music that raises the consciousness music that is a message something that we need to gain um, um, power back over is the, uh, the ability to have music that has meaning, that has passion, that has a message, especially in, this, in these days and times that we're living in, especially with the things that we're seeing play out socially. We have to have messages that are socially relevant, that reflect the condition of the people, you know, in order to break the traditions that are destroying us. So I want to thank you for coming here to the House of Consciousness and laying it down, man, you know, doing what you do best. And no, it wasn't me. It was you. But the universe and the ancestors connected us. And it's really for the people. But it's in this time space continuum. That which is meant to be will be. That which isn't isn't. This is definitely meant to be. And, um, you know, do what you want. Do, do your thing, man. Keep bringing us to the people, man. And it's a pleasure and honor once again, man. All right. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Um, honey, 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 no sugar. Um, wow. Sankofa. Sankofa is, 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 ever since I met him, has been nothing but an inspirational factor in my life thus far. Um, and I guarantee he will continue to be. As you see, the brother is very, very profound in how he speaks. And, and just his approach is very approachable you know and another thing that i want to shout just let's talk to the viewers real quick um i want to give a shout out to the 19th letter and i want to give a shout out to 
brother Marcus, the young brother that's out there. Give a shout out to uh, yeah, brother Marcus is, is definitely uh, going to be a problem. And then you got young Pharaoh, another problem. And just to the viewers, I I, just to the viewers alone, like I, I was on the other side. I was just watching Side Nutter live yesterday, you know what I'm saying, and seeing all the comments go down the side, you know what I'm saying. I read a lot of the comments. I was just on the other side, right with y'all, watching Side Nutter TV, and I want to let y'all know that Side Nutter, the whole house of consciousness, they're very approachable. It, it, ain't nobody on no Hollywood, no Hollywood nothing. It's very approachable. Everybody is here to build and work together. And let's come together. So let's get back into the presentation. Oh, you want to give another shout out? Speaking of shout outs, just real brief, brother. And I'm gonna try. I'm working on my briefness. I want to give a shout out to my brother, my young brother. He's also into the music. He's doing his thing, man. I'm the brother uh, Overlord. Uh, Overlord Stone out in Long Island. He's doing his things, man. He hit us off with a couple of fire tracks here at the House of Consciousness. Keep doing your thing and get at me, my brother. Also, I want to shout out to my brother out in Chirac, Chi-Town, uh, Fortune's favorite, my brother Fortune, out there doing his thing with the music, man. Get at me. And, um, yo, man, keep doing your thing. Peace. And shout out to my brother Solo. Shout out, oh, Solo. Shout out Solo. Yeah. Solo in the building, man. We know that you're watching. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you staying tuned in. And just shout out to all the viewers out there, man. One, uh, just peace and love. Peace and love. Yes, be inspired. I want you. I want you to listen to these songs. And when I say I, I'm not just speaking for me. When I say I, I want you to think of it as that's you. So when I say I'm looking into myself, or I change myself. You say to your own self, I'm changing myself. Make that you. Make that you. The quotes in I've changed after the end of both verses, the first and the second verse. The first verse, I say, the deeper your pain, the deeper you are asking for change. Now, why do I say that? I say that because when you analyze your pain and your experiences, it may be a sign for you to change and learn from it. So overcome what you experience with a new understanding and move forward. Okay? So pain ain't just pain. Everything is an experience. Everything is something to learn from. So when you look at your pain as something to learn from, you, number one, empower yourself so you can move forward. You empower yourself to overcome it and move forward. And then the second quote, the second quote is, I am the example of the change I want to see. Why do I say that? It's my commitment to be the example of the change I seek. I must lead by example, otherwise it's all rhet only rhetoric. Am I right? Am I right? Absolutely. If, you, if you're not leading by example, not just sitting here speaking good, but you gotta live what you speak about. You gotta be about what, you, what your purpose is. When you know your purpose, you got to be an example of that purpose. And that quote actually originates from Gandhi. It originates from Gandhi. The original quote um, said, be the change you want to see in this world. So what I did was embodied it. And I made it me. And I said, you know what? I am that change. I am that example of the change I want to see. And then once you are, once you are in that deep in your, in your soul searching, here comes the conflict. And like I said, you're not only conflicting with yourself and your own doubt and your own just condition that you have been brought up in. You're also dealing with the outside environmental 
issues. The in, you got internal conflict and external conflict. It's yourself and your choices and the environment, the preconditioned the preconditioned mentality that people carry and the preconditioned society that we were raised and brought up in. That's a battle in itself too. So there, that's when the conflict comes into play. And that's why I have a song called Not Happy Here. Because when, when you realize that you're not just this physical being on, on, the, on, this, on this planet, it's hard to find your physical self being happy, fully happy. I'm talking about happy, happy all the way around with your mind, body, and soul. And, and, and when you're taking on that personal, when you're taking on your personal conflict in search for knowledge, growth, and balance, that's going to equal know thyself. So a little bit about, a, a little bit about, not happy here the second verse i, I want to go into is say i say i can't be happy happy i can't be i can't be happy bring me to the light hi when i look outside of me I can feel negative energy I can't be stuck doing the same things Cause I'm not dying in the streets, not dying in the streets, not dying in the streets, not dying in the streets Boom! Look at that, uh, look at that external conflict Just the negative energy that you have to face Because at the end of the day the reality is we're not going to end I'm not going to end up dead or in jail. Right. I'm that's I'm not going to be that cliche negro out here in these streets that's doing the same thing over and over again going on 30 years old, 30 years old still doing the same thing that you was doing at 18, 19. That's that external battle. And when you realize I'm not dying in these streets, I'm going to die for my purpose. I'm going to die for my purpose. And that's why I take action. That's why the next category in the album is action. It's action. So in the, in the action category, there's three songs that I want you to focus on. And that's Bless Me. So, uh, turn the camera for me, please. That's, there's three songs I want you to focus on. Bless Me, Out My Mind, Negative People, and I Need. Now, verse one in Bless Me. Now, I actually want to get in, I actually want to get into the song Bless Me real quick. And I'm not even going to play the song for you. I'm going to actually spit the song. After I drink a little bit of tea, because, man, my truck is getting very raspy right now. But let me just break down the song real quick, and then I want you to pay attention to the lyrics. Because verse 1 is confronting my past to move forward with my purpose. Then verse 2 is accepting the responsibility for my purpose, and then inspire others to take the responsibility for their purpose. Huh? That's just in one song. <laughs> That's just in one song. So I'm going to spit the verse. I'm going to spit the first verse and a little bit of the second verse. And then we'll play the song so you can hear the verse and the um the hook. Let me just drink some tea real quick. Cause my oh, don't never hold it over that. Over that yeah, never, <laughs> never do that. <laughs> this is powerful right here. My brother 19th letter. He said, man, he definitely feeling you, brother. He loved this information that you're giving up. Powerful shout out to my brother Solo. And uh, we're going to have to do something coming up. I would say by next year when it get warmer a little bit, like in the April, starting April, I want to put together uh, a conscious joint, uh, uh, you know, a, um, a song. What they call it? Uh, Concert, yes, that's what I'm still looking for. I'm looking for the word conscious concert, 
And I definitely got the 19th letter up in there solo. And um, I'm going to see what I can do at least. Help my brothers. Help my brothers earn something. You know. That's right. The hip hop artists, everybody coming in the building. I'm about to bring conscious rap back. Yeah, conscious rap got to come back. Let me ask you, my brother, real quick before you go on. Who does your, the engineer? Who's the engineer for your music? That's the that, that's. Woo, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question, and I would like to actually let the world know that I engineer my own music. <laughs> um, I got my own studio. I built it in, my, in the basement of my home. Um, I would say pretty professional studio. <laughs> if you come through, it's set up wow. very professional. Um, I've been mixing and engineering for about. 12 years now um started when i was young only 12 years old you know um just just pressing buttons and i taught myself how to do it all and so i engineer my music the beats that you also hear um is engineered by me and my co co-producer e magic so shout out to e magic um e magic is uh that's gonna be a person that you're gonna be looking at in the future that's gonna have the beats that as you see, like they ain't, they ain't nobody sounding like his beats. And with me and him collaborated on my album to make the beats. So it's all done within house. All all in house. All in house. And yeah, let's uh let's get into the, the bless me track. Bless me track. Let's go. Now when I say bless me, it's an invita it's an invitation to support me. Because blessings as we understand is good things that come to us, good things that happen to us, good things that are given to us. Um, they, those are blessings. But on, on, what else is another blessing is the support from your, your loved ones and your community and your family. So when you take on, when you take that conflict head on, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to stand up against my environment. I'm going to stand up against my, my soul. I'm going to stand up against it all for my purpose. You now can't be afraid to ask the family to support me, support you. So let me just get into it because this one gets a little bit powerful. I'm going to take my glasses off for this one because I get a little bit passionate in this one. So I said... We in, the, we in the action phase, right? Uh, it's time, time for some action. Because now I got a purpose in life, so no more slacking. Ever since I started to write, I had the passion to speak about the pain that I see and how it happened. I could have been the man in these streets when I was asleep. Quick to scheme to pimp a hoe and get flee. I'm getting deep. Now look at me, think I'm something to see. I'm in the rent of puffin' tree. This is stunting to me. But I was lost. Now I think about the time that I waste. I realize I really had my mind out of place. The stupid shit I did for money, but don't got it today. No retirement plan or no 401k. What can I say? I blame white supremacy, enemy of the state. I blame my environment showing me how to hate. I blame all the killers who killing off all the leaders. It's time for revolution, but nobody here to lead us. I blame myself. I blame myself. Because who the one who fell for this shit? Myself. So who the one who made the mistakes? Myself. So who the one that I got to change? Myself. Okay. What do I do now? Making the move now. The way I show and improve now. Speaking the truth now. Okay. They ready to hate me. They ready to slay me. Or they, they gonna embrace me and never deflate me. I'm on a mission with precision, I'm being a better man. At a distance with my vision, I'm seeing it very clear. That I'm risking my decision, I'm breaking the wall of fear. If you listen and you get it, then we can get started here. Because any blessing is a blessing that's needed, that's needed at any second. Reality got us stressing when we need in progression. Who is teaching these lessons? Sign out of TV. <laughs> Have you even started looking? If you need in direction, let me tell you where to look and you looking at yourself, starting with yourself. Cause who the one who wanted to change? Yourself. 
So who the one that's needing to change? Yourself. Every risk, all you got is to blame. Yourself. Let's get into the song. Now I got a purpose in life, so no more slacking Ever since I started to write, I had the passion to speak about the pain that I see And how it happened, I could have been a man in these streets when I was asleep Quit the scheme to pimp a hoe and get free, I'm getting deep Look at me, think I'm something to see, I'm in the room of puffin' tree This is something to me, but I was lost, now I think about the time that I waste Realize I really had my mind out of place, the stupid shit I did for money but don't got it today No retirement, playing on the 401k, what can I say? White supremacy, enemy of the state, I blame My environment showing me how to hate, I blame All the killers who killing off all the leaders It's time for revolution, but nobody here to lead us I blame myself, I blame myself Cause who the one who fell for the shit? Myself, so who the one who made the mistakes? Myself, so who the one that I gotta change? Myself Every risk and sacrifice I give So I can change my life Be better for my kids so bless me, yours, and give all I can give. For truth, I was blind. My truth, I leave behind. So bless me. Okay, what do I do now? Making a move now. The way I show and improve now. Speaking the truth now. Okay, they're ready to hate me. They're ready to slay me. All day, they're gonna embrace me. They're never to fake me. I'm on a mission with precision. I'm being a better man. At a distance with my vision. I'm seeing it very clear. That I'm risking my decision. I'm breaking the wall of fear. If you listen and you get it, then we can get started here. Any blessing is a blessing that's needed at any second. Reality got us stressing when we need a progression. Who is teaching these lessons? Have you even started looking? If you need a direction, let me tell you where to look. And you looking at yourself, starting with yourself. Cause who the one who wanted to change? Yourself. So who the one is needing to change? Yourself. Every risk, all you got is to blame. Yourself. Every risk and sacrifice I give. So I can change my life Be better for my kids So bless me Fire 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 Inferno Real talk Lava Oh man, I appreciate it I appreciate it I appreciate it Oh man Listen That's taking action, man that that's like the first step. That I want you to be turned up for taking action for your purpose, man. Don't get turned up for the club. Get turned up for your purpose, man. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, What is there's no other better reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's 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 actually what does taking action lead leads us to? It leads us to, to really standing up against our condition, right? right? Our condition got us out our fucking mind, straight up. That's why the next song is called Out My Mind. Out My Mind is the wake up call to my mental condition. It takes action to break out of the condition. So the action you put forth, the action you put out, will prevail you to a whole nother level. I'm talking about shoot you to a whole nother level of being in control of your life. So I'm going to break down the second verse to, um, to out my mind. As a matter of fact, let's play the hook. For out my mind first, and then I'm gonna get into the second verse of it. And because the second verse goes into the action of what I had to do. It's another one, yeah. This one is out my mind. It's really, you're gonna hear my condition. So, my condition. Turn that up. Sound like Tupac coming in. Yeah. Like Mary. Yeah. Oh, Mary. Woo! Oh, 
Out my mind. They say I do not listen, they gon' put me out my mind. They train me for this system, it's gon' leave me out my mind. They brainwash me completely, my condition out my mind. 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 They tell me I am sick in my condition out my mind. They brainwash me completely, my condition out my mind. It all started when my mom went to work. Daddy still I said. I said. <laughs> that, <laughs> you see the way that dropped? When you press the CDs, come give me a stack. I'm going to make some you. money for you. I definitely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said, I've been thinking, this ain't really life, yo. My condition got me living like a psycho. Bad decisions got me really thinking twice, though. Am I, am I really the one that's been controlling how my life go? I'ma find out. Cause I'm falling back to figure this out. Away from the crowd. Holding me back. Leaving me doubt. Out of my mind mean I'm out of the box. Give them the rope. Cut them the slack. Now I can see who around me or not. They hung on that rope and never came back. Hoping they won't let me leave them like that. Cause hoping is floating with nothing to grab. Excuse me as you have to pardon my back. Cause you took for granted the love that I had I'm no longer living a death wish I'm cutting you off if you reckless I'm keeping away from the selfish All of you making my checklist Good versus the evil Even the closest people Faking they love to only deceive you Watch all the lies they feed you Broke the condition and now I can see all the faking The same ones who fake say I'm out of my mind Broke the condition to see all the fake and I see how the system controlling your mind. Fake people really can't stand me. They hate cause I know what I can be. This is just something you can't see. You can't save them. Even your family. Huh? Just in that verse alone. I'm literally taking you through. Step by step of saying you know what? I ain't fucking with that no more. <laughs> You know what? I ain't fucking with them no more. You know what? I'm not going to go that way no more. You know what? I realize this person in my life is bringing me nothing but problems. Nothing but bad karma. You know what? I'm breaking this condition. And you know what? When you do that, they, they going to tell you you out your mind. Right. Either way it goes, you out your mind. You go ahead and you fight for your purpose, you out your mind. But guess what? How we look at it here in the house of consciousness, if you go ahead and continue to do the normal shit that we was conditioned to do, you is out your mind, man. You out your mind. Which brings you into the next song of Knowing that you got to protect this energy. This is another part of the action plan. Protecting yourself. Protecting your energy. And now you got to watch out for the negative people. Uh, the negative. I got a song called Negative talk. People. Yo, yo, let me hold that. One minute. <laughs> I feel you, man. And yo, that is much needed. You got to definitely send me that song. <laughs> the negative people. Because as I'm looking at some of the comments. Yes. You know you're going to have some negative people in the comment board. What is it with our people that when they hear the jewels you spitting, the knowledge and information you trying to enlighten and wake our people up, you know, they, some of our, they not ready for that. They want to hear the nigga mess. They want to hear die, nigga, die, nigga. Bitch, you ain't nothing but a bitch in the hole. They want to hear us talk greasy about ourselves. But when I got you standing here, brother, and you dropping this information, right. there's nothing. There's no album. Jay-Z might have a platinum album. Yep. Yeah. You know, 50 Cent may have a platinum album. But the lyrics that you dropping on here, brother, definitely knocks out everything that they've been talking about on their goddamn record. You know what I'm saying? Because you waking the babies up. Yeah. Go 
you bringing back love to our people. You're not out there calling the black woman a bitch and a hoe. You letting her know about the beauty that exists within you. Why we don't want to hear that no more, brother? It's crazy. Because I'm going to tell you something. I was tuning in yesterday. You know, if you go um, on YouTube mm -hmm. and you type up 70s music yes. just to listen to it. Yes. Man, nothing but beautiful black woman. They was talking good about ourselves, uplifting the community. So I'm like, damn, when did this change come? I got, I got, a, man, listen, watch this right here. This right here was so powerful. I want to, I want to give this to my brother because I was on there and I said, damn, I got to hear this song. But it was, it was really instrumental. You know what I'm saying? So I was playing it and I said, I got to get this song to my brother Solo and see what he could do with this. Because if Solo get this beat, he could change it up, engineer it, and go in. Let me see. Is this the one? I don't know if that's the one right there. But the beat. Yeah, I think that's it. 1970s. No, no. That was in 1970-something. Now, you add a new flavor to it? Yo, you add new flavor to it with the engineering and the lyrics? <laughs> uh -huh. You see that? Oh yeah, here you go, check it out. Black like me. Yo, you remix this? Cause I'm gonna tell you something. Yo, you know, if you listen to Jaheem, that's all Jaheem did was got them old songs and remixed it. He remixed Bobby Womack. Yeah. You know, y'all you know Bobby Womack in them. Africa got your money. Yeah, he remixed Bobby Womack and all of that. But if you go back and hear them songs yes. and see how we loved each other more, appreciated yeah, yeah. each other. Yeah, social relevant message always. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do you I'm gonna I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send me that before before I leave. Make sure you send me that. I'm gonna take the beginning clip. It just has a good intro. I'm gonna loop that real quick and I'm gonna do a drop for Sidenetta Studios on that beat. Woo! Imagine that being the intro. And you can add to it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm remix, just like I remixed the, um, just like I remixed the This Is The Men's World, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the relevant lyrics in the, just on top of the beat. Just keep it funky. Um, yeah, where were we about the presentation? <laughs> um, we were going into negative people. Yes, we were going into negative people. And he said, why is it that they can't appreciate this music and these lyrics that I'm displaying right now? Why can't they do it? It's, it's because they are just conditioned not to. And they can't, they can't break their condition. They out their fucking mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why this song, Negative People... This song is actually recognizing the people in your life that refuse to change and overall just carry negative energy. You got to recognize that and you got to start separating yourself. I, wanna, I don't want to use the word separate because it all is all everybody is on their own growing process. So anybody that's maybe carrying a negative um persona now they may grow out of it so the door is always open but at the same time i gotta protect my energy and i gotta keep my distance from you and i gotta keep my distance from you i'm sorry to keep cutting you off but i notice your mother every time you play your music your mother is one of your number one fans yes. she's one of your biggest fans because i see her on the side and she bopping and she know the lyrics to everything. And you see her. Let me just ask her real quick. Real quick and I'm going to get back to you. Are you proud of your son? Absolutely. 
absolutely i am proud of him and i'm the one that brought him in his life so (laughs) yes he is here and he does wonderful not only with just us but with anyone else that's coming in he brings people in that i don't know and i'm like who is this oh such and such and such you know but he's he's great he loves being here Mm -hmm. he talks about this all the time now, one more question. Mm-hmm. Now, keep it real. Mm-hmm. When he be down in the basement and you hear that music pumping, mm-hmm. you don't be turning that music down, boy. Uh-uh, I go in there and grab it and start talking. And, start okay. <laughs> and if and he's not saying what I want to hear, right? I'm telling him, can you just do this one right here? That's out all the time. Ooh, that's powerful. That's <laughs> he know not to bring no negative stuff up in there with that. You ain't going for that. <laughs> nope. Okay. I, I, I'll go in, I'll go in a little bit further with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just real brief again. Okay, you did a good job. I mean, you you produced a great one. In our generation, the people need it. We definitely need that in our generation. So I just want to um, just congratulate you on your product. Powerful one. And I also want to say, since you're one of, yeah, yeah, you know, product of the queen right here, right? I want to uh, ask you, you know, you support him and you give input and all that. That's a powerful dynamic right there. When you understand the family support that even comes out of that. So it, he's a very well-rounded brother. I mean, he comes from a very rough environment out there in Hartford, uh, Connecticut, one of the highest crime rates, murder rates in the country, uh, whether you know that or not. You know what I'm saying? Very volatile environment. And to come out of that, you know what I mean, as refined and knowledgeable as he is, he could have went to the left. He could have got caught up in all the stuff that he's trying to get us to through his music and his creative genius to transcend from, he could have been caught up in that and been a victim of that or victimizing you because of that. So I got to shout out the queen and the family for doing a good job. And I also want... One more thing. Without her here, she does a lot to help him also. And and, and, and everything else that we do at the house, she's one of them and she's one of the big ones, just like me. (laughs) This is is the wife. This is my wife. (laughs) Yeah. This is my lovely wife, and this is my beautiful mom. Um, one thing that I do want to piggyback on what, what Sinetta brought up about being in the, in the house and working on my music. I did this growing up also. See, right now my mom lives with me, so she can't tell me to turn down my music. <laughs> but, 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 when we... Growing up, and I used to take my room, and I used to make my bedroom a, a little studio, and I'd be recording all all in my room. Those were the times she used to come and put me in check, be like, um, you know it's past your bedtime. You know you got to get in bed. You got school in the morning. She always used to come and let me know, or even let me know to turn it down. I got it too loud. and But at the same time, as soon as the, the the product was done, she always loved to see me perform. She always um, loved my music. Um, and even before I started recording music, this was the woman that pushed me to sing. She pushed me to be great in my music. She she sung with me. She, literally. She, she would sing. We would sit back and sing the whole Tamiya album. Together, you know, we 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 sit back and we sing um, "Fire and Desire" by Rick James. We we kill that song together, and we grew up doing that, just doing it together. So yeah, you, you ever think about being the first ever mother and son, uh, first and first ever mother and son rap duo? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I but hey, hey. I would like to see y'all in a song together, though. You know, even if it's not a song, y'all sing together. You rap something that really em- empowers the black family and and and, and pushing unity in the family because the family is the foundation of the community, which is the foundation of the collective okay. nation. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna let him finish his presentation. Stay there. Stay there. We're gonna let. Come on. We're gonna let him finish his presentation. Now, hold up. If you remember. When I first seen you downstairs, what was the first question that I asked you? If you remember. Oh Lord. When we when you first had Oh that? Uh, where am I from? Yeah, what was your nationality? Nationality, yes, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Soon as you get up there, you know how our people Oh, what's your nationality? Who is she? The lost among us. Come on. Let, 
You don't really have to tell them if you don't want to. That's none of their damn business. But if you want to, you could. Tell them what I'm going to go back to. Uh, South America, Peru. Peru. More Africans were brought there slavery than America. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it, family. All right. Yeah, that's the first question that everybody asks, man. I mean, but even going down to Peru, even going down to Peru, man, there's people in Peru that they're, they're, they're darker than me. In Peru, they are literally darker than me. They're just like <laughs> in um, Spanish Harlem, if you go to Spanish Harlem, you'll see brothers and sisters lighter than her. Mm -hmm. The way they play the drum, the way they dress, yeah. the way the sun dish, all of that. Mm -hmm. And that's right it's all all across all Africa. Africa. Across this wall. But go ahead, my brother. You want to... Yeah. All <laughs> is the um, James Brown song. Uh, it, it's not on this presentation. We're gonna do it right after. Oh come on! It's, it, look, no, no. This, 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 this two more slides. All right, let's go. Let's two, go. Two, two, two more slides. We got two more slides. Let me um. Go in. Just smoke tea. all over the place, brother. You gotta. You know what? Hey, I should have been. I should have been uh, pre pre more prepared for the breakups. But you know, me thinking I'm gonna have to go straight through my presentation. Nah, th this is what I like, anyways, because it just creates a better dialogue. Yes, yes, of course. So it creates a better dialogue. But yes, let's go ahead and get into we just we just took it um you know to the family. Right. And and I, I, I love the way your mother is all tuned into your joint, brother. And, and, <laughs> I'm looking at her, she's like going in. <laughs> <laughs> and we took it to the family, showed the showed the showed the positive growth. You know what I mean? That's what that's what inspires the positive growth. You know what I'm saying? Not the negative people right. you know what i'm saying so let's get back to those negative people that try to throw you off track of your purpose and one of there's two quotes in this song that i that i that i want to actually share with you and the first one is why you wouldn't change for better simple it's a simple question to my negative people out there that's leaving negative comments <laughs> Why you why 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 you gotta be negative? Like what's the purpose? Like what are you getting out of being negative besides hurting, seeing pleasuring yourself by hurting somebody else? That's who you call your brother. Who you call your brother? Yeah, exactly. Brother. Brother. Even brother. even even for you in your own personal life, if you're negative, right, and you have a negative mentality, that means you are hurting the closest people to you. Even if you know it or don't know, if you're conscious, uh, consciously or unconsciously, you are hurting the people closest to you just for having a negative. So I want to get into the song, Negative People, and um, play the song real quick because the people that are so negative, there's a, there's a line in there that says, they always feel like someone did them wrong. And never looking at what they did wrong. You know? We I'm 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 going straight, straight at you. I'm going straight at you. It's negative people. Take the love. 
You're not you're not keeping love alive in life. You're not keeping love alive in life. Let me say it one more time. When you're carrying that negative energy, you are not keeping love alive in life. Love alive in life. Gotta love that. Because one thing about that is now. I have to, like you said, keep my distance from the negativity to protect my energy. Because now you're understanding what you need in life. You're understanding what's connect, what's connected to you. And it ain't that negative. It ain't that negative shit. So let's go into the next song, which is I Need. This one has no rap lyrics. This is straight. Straight me just giving you my powerful vocals. And um, I need is now taking full control of your life. Now it's I need. I know exactly what I need. I know what I need to do to protect my energy and keep my energy up and stay on my path to my purpose. So let's go ahead and get into I need. Let me give you the lyric. Let me give you the verse a cappella. Oh, oh, I can't fall back into the same path. I can't fall back into the same mind frame. I can't fall back into the same trap. Don't want to hear the lies, lies, lies no more. I can't look to people who left me. I can't look to people who doubt me. I won't look to no one else. I won't look to no one else. I will only look at myself. I gotta know. I gotta know what I need. Know what I need. I gotta know. I gotta know what I need. Know what I need. I gotta know. Know what I need. Know what I need. I gotta know. What I need. Uh, that's just the first ver verse right there. Because now I'm literally implementing that power in myself. Implementing it. I'm, I'm, I'm walking with it now. When I, when I listen to that song, let's get it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for any event. I'm ready to get on stage. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do everything that I have to do to... Put my purpose first. And that's what it takes to understand what you need. And then you reach the last point, which is knowledge of self. So you have now, you have now, you have now went through your soul searching You've went through the conflicts of dealing with your environment and the negative people. And then you took action for your purpose and your positive role. And knowledge of self. Now, knowledge of self, I use it. I, I speak very in general. I don't really go into 
into details and you know trying to be scholarly with what I'm trying to explain. I just like to keep it very common sense. This whole time I've been common sense. I've been talking straight at you, not giving you stuff that can go over your head. This is talking straight at you. Now, knowledge of self is having that knowledge of your history, knowing where you come from and where you came from. Because they say if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. And then knowing yourself personally, personally, that means you're digging into yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You have to know yourself all the way around. They say 360 degrees. That's knowledge of self. It doesn't stop at just researching history about your culture. It doesn't stop there. Because first and foremost, before you can even implement any of the knowledge you obtain about your history, you have to know yourself. You have to know your mental. You have to know your physical. You have to know your spirit. What is your spirit connected to? Your soul connected to? That's one and the same to me. So knowledge of self is that. And the song that I have to actually close out the, um, the album is called Thankful. <laughs> it's called Thankful. Um, if you could grab the camera for me, let's move it over for him and get... I want to... The last song is called Thankful. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for me being here today. I'm th and I'm thankful for my mom. That's in Peru. Okay. Um, I'm thankful for my wife. Mm -hmm. Taking we we took this trip to Peru and we got married. How old is your daughter? My daughter is one and a half. Thankful for the baby. Thankful for the baby. I'm thankful for all my children. I have my one year old, my five year old, and my ten year old. Dang, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 28. Oh, okay. I'm 28. I'm not I'm not that young. <laughs> but and I'm also thankful for knowing finding myself. I'm thankful for finding the understandings of my mind, body and soul. I'm thankful for just the overall process that I've been through to get me to this point. See how I'm just, I'm actually naming all the things that I'm appreciative about. Because that's, that's the, like your final step is to really be appreciative mm -hmm. for everything. I don't care if you, you, he just gave me some tea. I appreciate that, my brother. He opened up the door for me. I appreciate that. I'm going to appreciate the opportunity to help you. Just all the way around showing your appreciation. And in this song, Thankful, it's mainly describing how thankful I am for being married to the queen that I'm married to. Um, my children, my mom, and it is my full commitment to my new life and purpose. So in this song, I would like to just play the, f the, the first verse and the hook. And it just takes you back a little bit more. I really want you to settle down and find that love in yourself and just start loving yourself with it. Because once you love yourself, you'll start pushing off that love to everyone else around you. So it starts with being thankful for yourself. So let's get into that first track. I mean that um that last track and um play that. I'm gonna leave my past there aside. Cause you brought up new life in me. Man in constant battle. But you give me the strength I need. Walking with love takes the pain away. That's why I hold your hand every day. I'm up, but 
taking my breath away I got a feeling that she's the one She's the one for me, the one And I commit I can be the one To receive the one for love I'm happy for today has come I'm happy for today has come Our souls will connect as one do you do um well, what do they call that like like you plan it Yes, like in the background, you um add live to it. You add to it. Like once you make the beat, mm -hmm. once you do the song, you play it again and you add to it. You do, you need to do that to that. I, I know that ain't finished. You got to add live to that right there in the background, bro. Okay. Cause you, oh man, that's awesome. I'm a, um, did you hear the um the jet the um jet who am I looking for? Oh, Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown. Yeah, James. Yeah. Yeah. We about to get into that next. Yep. So thankful. Thank thankful that 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 is thankful. Um being happy for today has come to connect your soul to your purpose. Be thankful for your purpose in life. And support the album. <laughs> if if this if this has any way shape inform touched you if you actually understand what i'm speaking about if you actually are living this life like i live this life support this album it's going to be on my website you'll be able to pre-order it on my website at dolomissionent.com that's d o l o m i s s i o n ENT.com. <clears throat> Brother, can you um press up some copies for me though? Because um I know people gonna be asking me for some on my stand. Yes. Can you press up some? Do you think you can have some ready for December the 13th? Oh, you December the 13th. Well, the release, the release for the album is not until January 11th. So right. 111. Okay. Um and there's a there's a there's a special reason why I'm picking 111. I don't I don't just pick thing num like pick dates just to pick dates. Um, like I just really don't do things for no reason anymore. Now it really has to have That's have a reason for it. Right so now. yeah, the number one song that Sonetta would love to get into is um, the remix, the remake of James Brown. This is the man's world, and you know what? We ain't even gonna waste no I more ask, time. I wanna ask you a and we're going to get into the lyrics. We're going to break the what, lyrics, too. What, right, what inspired you to think of that song at this date and time? What inspired you to remix James Brown? Because we don't, we, anybody can't just do that. They're going to mess up the damn song. But when I heard you do it, and Shaka was like, yo, did you see my boy on there? Yeah. And I looked at it, and I said, God damn, this shit is awesome. And the way you did the video was beautiful, brother. So what inspired you? and made you want to do James Brown? Well, when I wrote that, I saw the preview to um, the movie that they were releasing. Um, that was like a year ago. And I said, you know what? Let me go and listen to some James Brown music. I really just sat back for a few hours just listening to James Brown. I'm just like, uh. And I'm showing, I was showing my son how he was performing and he was just on stage just moving and did, you know, I'm just showing him, I'm putting him on to the old school music because that's where the soul comes from. There you go. That's where the soul is. When you go into the old school music, you're gonna listen to every person that sings. They're singing from their soul. They're singing from a place that the men that 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 that's hard today is scared to tap into that 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 feminine energy mm. that feminine hey, i heard sonetta say yesterday 
I heard something that I said yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, we don't need that feminine energy. No, that feminine energy is what really balance us men out. To my understanding. You know, it really, to my understanding, it really balancing out. And once I really tapped into that feminine energy, I learned how to be more compassionate for my brothers and sisters. So that's, and I learned that from the old school music, listening to James Brown, listening to Michael, uh, Michael Jackson, that came from the soul. So I listened to it and I said, you know what? I want to do my own version, but I want to do a more up to date, more more up-to-date, more um, relevant um, version to this because it still is the man's world. It still is the system's world. There ain't even no one man. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? It's the system that they created to oppress us. Let's get to it. So let's get to it. I'll, um, want me to break it down? Um, after, you do, All right, cool. after you say it. All right, let's get to it. The man has all the power and they control all the land. The devil's in their heart, which means they follow his plan. Hmm. Right there, I am speaking about this system that is in place and how it was designed with devilish intentions to oppress our people. I said, with poverty and crime, schools with the lies, repopulation and manipulation, we can't survive. Mm. So right now, I'm saying the schools is lying to us. <laughs> They're repopulating the world. If you have not heard of Agenda 21, that is their written agenda to depopulate the world and basically destroy the planet as we speak. And now on top of that, destroy the melanated people because they, don't, they know what they say. They know that if we rise up, they're going to be extinct. So right in there, I'm letting you know how this system is. I say what I said. Now break down this system. We gotta fight for peace. Just think about our children. Cause what we do will set them free. Listen, listen. If your purpose, if you are following your purpose in life, you're gonna know that your purpose is light for the children. And we have to pass that on to the children because what we do right now will set the children free for the future. We ain't free right now. So we need to implement the knowledge to the children to set them, fr to set them free. And that's what it boils down to. This is the man's world. I, once again, let me just reiterate. Let me reiterate where you can find the videos find the album um you can actually see watch the this is the man's world video on um dolo mission ent on youtube just type in dolo mission ent my youtube channel should pop up or just type in pup this is the man's world um you can also see my mind body and soul video um just type in Pup, Mind, Body, and Soul, or you can go to uh, the Dolo Mission channel. And just subscribe because I'm going to be uploading more and more videos. You're going to be, you can actually check out the um, I Change video. I just released that yesterday. I released that yesterday for y'all. Like, I wanted everybody here that's watching to watch the this video because everything that we just talked about right now about me going through my process i put that in that video that video when you watch the video those are not recent clips of me those are old clips when i was just taking my step into my transition and i was still on my down on, on my downside you know what i'm saying so really pay close attention to the video and look at things that i've actually been through 
and type of, and just the mentality that I was actually going through and, and where I am now. So that's something I definitely want you to see. Um, is there anything else that I should add? Um, once again, the, the, the website is dolomissionent.com. And it will be released. The album will be releasing 111 2016 The name of the album is The Battle to Know Thyself. I just showed you the battle that you have to go through to get to the point to know thyself. So appreciate the love, House of Consciousness, once again. And oh, I got to give another shout out. I got to give a shout out. I got to give a shout out to uh, Mama Pill uh -oh. and the Pill family. Yes, yes. Um, and, the pill, and, the pill, and the Pill family. Why? Why is because uh, we've, connected, we've connected with uh, Mama Pill and uh, her products to help, okay. to help um, <clears throat> alleviate my mom of symptoms that she's showing um, of Alzheimer's disease. So it's kind of hard for me to talk about because it's a very touchy subject. That's my mom right there, and she's here right in the building. So there was a video that was uh, uploaded <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and it was Brother Polite. And he was going in about the, uh, about cancer, and he literally said, "If I had the opportunity to cure his mom with the knowledge that he knows now, he would have did it." Mm -hmm. And he 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 was he, he. You can see the pain in his eyes for missing that opportunity. So, even before I saw that video, I already implemented in my mind that I want to heal my mom. My mom has been trapped under this condition for 52 years. And we can see what that condition has gotten us to. So that's just another example of why we need to break out of this condition and start living a more healthier life. And, and, and on top of that, loving our family to take care of one another. We have to love each other and support each other because when, in situations like this, you can, you can find yourself alone trying to take care of a, a, a very tough situation and that's only because the love is not in everybody's heart like how it should be so that's why me putting out this album is just another way it's just another way uh, let's say another avenue for people to connect with so they can start finding the love within themselves so they can start supporting themselves and supporting their family better also. But if that is what you purchased the album for because you know that you want to better yourself and, and, and support your family, but also buy the album to support my family. Yes. Because... Because... Because these doctors are not telling the truth. These doctors are um, not trying to help cure you. They're only trying to prolong your death. And I refuse to sit here and let these doctors prolong the death of my mother. So I stepped up and I got in touch with Mama Pill. After um after she put her number out on Sidenetta TV, once again you gotta thank Sidenetta TV for a lot of stuff now. Um and I called her and we connected with her um as soon as possible and. You ever try to connect with Dr. Sabi as well? Um yes, I I well I didn't in directly try to connect with Dr. Sabi. Um, I directly contacted uh his ex-wife Maah. You should talk to Polite. 
and and um and then once I once I saw Mama Pill and then I found out that Mama Pill was uh Dr. Sabi's ex-wife also. So I'm like oh, that's just another source, you know? So it was like, that's another source. And I'm like, I'm going direct to the source and I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a really make this happen. So the package was shipped and, and we started today. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm feeling good about that. I'm happy about that. And I'm excited to, to, to see this process unfold. And the support that you give me on my album will help me support the treatment for my mom. So I just want to um, just let the family know uh, about my true background con uh, situation and why I'm now rolling everything out on the table. I'm displaying my whole entire self to you right here on the, right here on the front line so there's no question of what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what I'm about. I'm about peace and health. That's it. And 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 that's all you that's it. So um yeah. You got a question? Yes. Thank you, my brother. Um I have a brother that just called in. He go by the name of Solo. Solo. Solo, peace, my brother. Talk to me. Peace, peace. Peace, man. I wanna I, I wanna say uh peace to you, beloved. Thank you. Uh peace to the brother Stan Kofa. Uh, uh, we, you know, we all appreciate the work you're doing out on the front line, uh, being the voice of the movement. So we appreciate the work you're doing, bro brother. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, peace to the queens in the house. Thank you. Always say, always say, a man, a man ain't a man unless a female can substantiate his manhood. And you got both your queens in the house, man. So good for you. Thank you. Um, what can I say, man? I, I got a chance to, to watch most of, most of your bill. Uh, the music sounds great. I can see that uh, as, as the interview went on, you got a chance to loosen up and, and, and give us more of, of yourself. Um, the songs seem to get better with every, with, with every song. It seemed to get better. Um, great, great work, man. There's it's not much I can say, man. You, you're doing a great job. Um, your sound is great. This is necessary right now. One of the things that I talked to the brother Sonetta about is the fact that there's a lot of discussion about a lot of different subject matter in the conscious community, um, from religion to uh, economics, and, and the list goes on. But one of the, the major elements that I felt like, and obviously you feel like, has been missing is the musical element. Uh, music has always been a major part of us, our people, and our culture, and music has a, a major impact on the rest of the culture. So it's vitally important that we, brothers like myself and yourself, step up and utilize our talent to put the message back in the music because that's an aspect that needs to be included in this whole, in this whole conscious movement. Yes. So, again, great work. Keep up the great work. Um, get my information from Brother Sarnetta. Uh, I want to I wanna connect with you and build with you, man. Let's work. Yes. Let's definitely get together and work. Um, again, great work. Keep up the good work, brother. And, uh, and reach out to me. Get in touch with me. Uh, and, let's, and let's build. We're, in fact, before I, before I go, um, where are you located now? Hartford, Con Hartford Connecticut. Awesome, Connecticut. Okay, great. Well, I'm, I'm you're a little ways off. I'm, I'm actually in East Orange, New Jersey, just outside of North, North New Jersey. Okay. Um, but that's nothing, man. We can travel with the technology now. You know, we can be in two different places and work on, on music together, um, just by sharing tracks, you know, online. So, uh, let's, let's build, man. Let's work. We gotta, you know, I, I think with one of the things you see in mainstream music is artists are always competing with each other. Yes. But, with this movement, it ain't about competition. It's about coalition. It's about coming together because we're making this music. Even though you're making the music and you're selling the product and you're looking to make some money, that's great. But at the same time, there's a, a greater mission at hand, and that's to infuse the message in the music to help uplift the people. So anything that we can do in terms of coming together and, and helping to facilitate that mission is a great thing. So let's build, brother. You got the great work.
Yes, my brother, that'd be powerful. I would love to see you do a um a duo with my brother. Like you you can make something, make a song and send him the track and let him hear it and then let him get his lyrics on it. Like you said, because of the technology, y'all don't have to be in the same room to get it done and to get it popping. So I think that would be real powerful with y'all two right there. That's a must. That's a must. We got to do it. So, you know, the first step would be for me and him to just have a conversation. Let's build, um, you know, just, just throw different feedback off of each other, get an idea of, uh, you know, what would be the best material to, to work with in terms of a, a collaboration and go from there. But I love to work with the brother. I'm all about collaborations, man. I think that's, that's important. We need to do more of that, especially with this movie. Yes. All right, this is my brother Solo. For those of y'all who don't know Solo, I'm going to reacquaint you with the music, and you're going to say, oh, that's that brother. Well, here's the brother Solo where the brother definitely contribute, and I love this song right here for the opening. That's Brother Solo right there. Welcome to Sunday. Sunday to studios. You don't get no better than on a consciousness info. Sunday to TV 7. You keep it hot 24 7. You keep it hot 24 7. Sunday to TV 2. Yeah. We're now inside Sunday to studios. The House of Consciousness. And of course, of course, the anthem, the sign of the anthem for the conference, so low, right here. Philosophy, hold the white race superior and the African inferior is finally. my man solo yo solo what what inspired that song right there how you let me ask you brother yeah i know the conference expired yeah i had to i had to put something together for that joint to help promote that because i think the people need to come out and support that yes brother that's powerful man i just can't wait to y'all two brothers I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to be sitting back to see what comes out of this with y'all two brothers going in. Well, look, it's, 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 the ball is in your court, brothers. Just make sure you get the information over to the brothers. Um, you know, give them my phone number yes. and, uh, and, and, and give them my email and, and have them get in touch with me. And, and let's build, man. All right, my brother. Thanks a lot, man. Do you have anything else you would like to say? What you got coming up, man? <laughs> look, man, I'm, I'm, I plan on being at the conference. I'm going to be at the conference. We're going to drop that joint to the people. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, 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 to my introduction with the people. You know what I'm saying? But, but this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't about me right now. This is about the brother P.U.P. 
I want y'all to go out and support that project. You know what I'm saying? This is important that we support each other. Uh, the message that the brother is delivering through the music is powerful and it's necessary and it's needed. You can tell that the brother is pouring out his heart and his soul in his music. So y'all make sure y'all go out and support that brother and look out for the collaboration because it's on its way. That's what's up, my brother. I thank you, uh, brother Solo. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, brother. Keep up the good work, pup. All right. What do you think about that, brother? Me and him about to put some work in. I'm telling you, just um, just listening to his voice, like already, I can I can tell where he he uh compliment he will be able to compliment me. You know what I mean? Like just like you mentioned earlier in a couple of songs, he's like, oh, you don't you don't do the ad libs in the background. You know, that's not really my forte all the way. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm very in tune to making sure that I just got the hook. The I want the hook to be very powerful. A person like that, he makes sure those ad libs are powerful. Right. You know what I mean? He he came in with that ad lib. That was you felt it. You know what I mean? That was powerful. That's something that I do behind him, but you know what I mean? I can see how that we, we're gonna compliment each other very, very well. Peace Black Power. What's your name and where you call it from? Peace, peace, nineteenth letter, you heard. Oh my man, the nineteenth. What's going on, brother? You must have changed your number on me. Nah, nah, I'm calling from the pilgrim phone. You already know. Oh man, because your name usually pop up, so I don't see your name. What's happening? Chilling, man. I'm over at, over here at the nine to five. I just had to give it up to the God for real, for real, man. Okay. That's a true that that's a true air like right there. You real talented, brother. I'm feeling your music. You already know. Um, I appreciate your relationship with your queen and your and your mom. You feel me? Um, I feel like that's the inspiration we give each other every day as brothers. You feel me? Your respect, your honoring, and your appreciation for your queen and your mother. It it, it helps me. You know what I mean? It reinforces my strength and my appreciation for my queen and my mom. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, y'all. I really do. You already know, bro. I'll catch you. I'll catch you on the net, man. You, you know, we gonna I make watched that. you live when you came on Sidenetta TV also. You know what I'm saying? I saw you break down your music. And um, like I said, I said, here, it's starting. Sidenetta is bringing the conscious music in. That's so right. I said, I got to get there also to connect with that, brother. As soon as I, I already knew I was going to connect with you. You so was one of the first people. Cold. I was like, oh, let's do it. So, Facts. yeah. Facts. Classic. And you already know, so I know that that's Conscious Cali right there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Word. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace, my brother. I can't sing what you mean. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but you can maybe, you know, write some some stuff for me and let me lip sync you. You know what I mean? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Nah, but um basically um I wanna say that I'm glad that the contribution that you're bringing to the music as is as heartfelt and prolific and rooted in raising the level of awareness, consciousness, positivity, and creativity, because you're bringing content. A lot of the music that we listen to, the content is, is, is slim, it's skimp. It's skimp when it comes to content. You're bringing content, you're bringing um, creativity, I mean, you're producing your own stuff. I mean, it's coming from the heart, you're writing, I mean, you're doing a lot. You got the family structure intact, you got knowledge yourself, and you got the best interest of the people at heart. I mean, those components all together in unison is gearing towards a black renaissance, a rebirth, and the conscious resurrection of us as far as the music goes. And that is something that is very necessary and needed because our youth are listening to the music. They're turned out by the music. Yes. Yes. Now we got to turn them back in. Back into what? Back into the gods and the goddesses and who they are because they are out their mind. Yes. <laughs> Malcolm X said, you are out your African mind when you were brought here. So we got to put us back in our mind. Yes. I mean, I believe that um, you know, this is the time of the reawakening of the sleeping giant or the sleeping lion. And I think all of our contributions, all of our contributing efforts, whether you're dealing with the healing, whether it's you're dealing with, um, dealing with uh, uh, theology from a black liberation theology perspective, mm -hmm. whether you're dealing with liberation ideology, and whether you're dealing with the arts. I mean, it, and the art is very, mu uh, very important. Music is very important. Um, what was his name in China? The People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong. Is that his name, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, he's Asian, but, you know, facts correlate regardless. Mm-hmm. And he's Chinese. And I would say this. I mean, one of the things in which he used to overcome, to unify his people on a common goal objective to offset, undermine, and overcome British imperialism was through the music, the arts, the poets, the people like that to inspire nationalism amongst his people, to raise up that fervor, to raise up that, 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 that consciousness, that awareness, and that zeal for liberation to make that idea that he had, that vision that he had as a visionary, manifest into a tangible reality. So me in saying that is saying you are bringing a very important part of the puzzle to the table through the music. And you're a very talented person, man. And you're like the Akhenaten of music. I mean, you're writing, you're producing, you know what I'm saying? You're lip syncing your own self because that's how good you are. You know what I'm, saying? I'm joking. But um, so I want to say, man, it's a pleasure and an honor. Thank you. And we're going to see a lot more from you. And I just can't wait, brother. Appreciate it. You got another call coming or? Yes. Oh, here you go, brother. I want to I want to I want to piggyback off of what you just said about, you know, what I mean, it being uh being influential to the to the youth mm-hmm. because when i write my music i i tap back into remembering how music influenced me as a youth mm. so i came up in the early night i came up through the 90s and early 2000s when i at early 2000s i was in high school so that means the early 2000s music was really impactful so the 50 cent the, 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 the DMX, the late 90s, all that hardcore rap that hit the scene, I was out there thugging. <laughs> I was out there thugging. So I, I, I was there. I've been there. I've done that. And I saw how it impacted me and it influenced me to do make some of the mistakes that I made. And I said, you know what? How can I make sure when I write, the message that I'm speaking of, it, it it will influence them to go 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 the route that I'm speaking about. You know, not just like when um when you listen to like a Fifty Cent song, old Fifty Cent, you get shot in front of the cops. You not like me. You ain't got no work on the block. You not like me. I was back, man. Back at that time, I was like, man, shoot. Then I need to get, I need to step my game up because, man, I need to get out on that block. I need to, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it made you want to be that hard. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It made you want to be that hard. But at the same time, I saw how being that hard got me in a lot of trouble. It got me in a lot of trouble. And I had to break that condition and break down those walls to actually get to the point where, you know what, I'm going to really write from my heart because... What happened was when I was making music as a teenager, I was writing music just to impress my my peers and be cool and sound cool and, you know, rap about the normal stuff. And when I did, I would maybe drop a line in there a little bit loud that was deep. But other than that, I kept it right here on the surface, you know, so it, it, it just it really basically taps into a youth on. I know how it influences the mind. So when I write, I know how I'm trying to influence you. You know? That's powerful, brother. Um, you definitely be po- you definitely supposed to be out there right now, man. I mean, I'm, out there. I'm talking about where where your music where your music is all over the world. You and brother Solo. Because when you sit back and you can listen to what's my girl name? Is it Lauren Hill? You know, she got similar messages that you got. You know, Lauren Hill got some shit. And her music sounds just as great as yours. Or yours sounds just as great as hers. You know? It's just that she got the bigger platform and everybody. Because I know once you come out and people hear it, believe me, they're going to be stuck on it. They're going to be like, wow, this dude is really saying something. Peace and black power, my brother. What's happening, man? Talk to us. Peace. Peace, 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 and black power, family. First of all, I want to thank you, Brother Sarnetta, House of Conscious, Black News 102, Sarnetta TV7, for allowing me this opportunity to uh, call in and, uh, you know, and talk to the esteemed guest this evening. Uh, so first of all, also, I got to give a shout, powerful shout out to uh, the guest, Pup, the uh, House of Consciousness represent- national representative, 
a spokesman, uh, Sankofa. Salute to you, my brother. And uh, I, I would like to say also, um, you know, too, before I uh, ask the brother the question, that he could also do uh, an exclusive pre-album sale at the uh, December the 13th conference and still allow his release date to be 1-11-2016 because, you, brother, believe it or not, you, you know, I... I I, I see you at least getting fifty k or better if you go ahead and have that ready for uh, <coughs> excuse me for the uh, for the for the elder here. Um, and uh, before I begin, I want um, to uh, just uh, also uh, uh, ask ask him. You know, uh, will he definitely uh, uh, put that together and uh, and uh, and also represent for us? I mean, because uh, like Sonetta been saying, as far as his vision for the youth. Man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I just thank uh, the creator and the ancestors that I'm a part of witnessing this in live full color, that uh, what he's been speaking on is coming in uh, to uh, a position here, you know? Yes, brother. Uh, definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going to I'm definitely going to represent all the way because I see this as my purpose. So this when I write music or, or any type of creativity that. I'm a display is going to come from a place that I was inspired, but it's also to inspire the youth. So it's always going to come from that place. That's, that's peace. That's peace. And also I want to uh, say too, to, uh, to, to uh, your mom there, you know, to uh, definitely stay encouraged. I know for a fact that uh, that, that issue that, that they tried to release on her title wise, it, it, it will not have no victory. I definitely stand on that on the spiritual side. I know Mama Peel, shout out to her as well, red and blue, KP, and, uh, and uh, as well, yeah, salute to Mama. Yes, yes, yep, definitely, definitely. And uh, I want her to know that she's going to definitely be well, and I stand on that for, for real. Yep, yep. And, um, but, uh, yeah, I, like I said, once again, you know, I have a thousand one things to say, but I ain't going to be selfish and take up the time. But th thank you so much, and I look forward to building with you, uh, in the, in the future, uh, with, with my big brother. All right. Are you gonna be at the December thirteenth? You know what? I got plans to be there, my brother. Um, if if uh, the if the weather permit, shoot, I'm there. <laughs> peace. peace, my brother. Thank you, man. You already know. Hey. Yes, sir, big brother. I'll talk to you soon. She said thank you as well. Thank you. Oh, oh yes, yes, ma'am. I, I, I thank you for being, you know, a strong mother as well, and. And so supporting them, standing behind. I had to take my time when the topic got brought up because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even afraid. I'm at a point where I'm not afraid to let it go. Um, you know what I mean? Because that's just who I am. I'm a very passionate person. Um, if you want to use the word sensitive, I, I'm a very sensitive person too. So, and I stand on it though, and I stand on it proudly because I know what the positive energy that I'm gonna put out. With me standing on, me knowing my passion and and my pain and my sensitivity, I know that the you know the karma is gonna the karma is gonna come back in good in, in good form. And like you said, my mom will will, will we gonna get through this, right? We gonna get through this. That's right. I appreciate. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I really appreciate that love. Right. Right. Thank you, thank you, big brother. Sorry, I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. All right. Okay, um, is there anything else you would like to say in closing or something like that? Yeah. Let's yeah, go in. Yeah. In closing, <laughs> um, I just got to thank Sonetta again, uh, Brother Sankofa, um, and the whole House and Consciousness platform. If you were not, if you were not doing this, Sonetta, I would not be here today. I would not be rolling myself out, giving myself out to the to the world. Yes, one of the questions I had for you is um how did you come across Sarnetta TV or Sarnetta Studios? How did you get you know get in contact with us, brother? Oh you contacted Sankofa first. Yes. That's how Sankofa contacted me. Yo brother, you gotta meet my man. He's nice so he made his lyric. Talk about that. So right how I how I started uh with Sarnetta, I, I, I've been watching your videos for, I say, almost two years now. Uh, two years now, actually. And um, started off just by watching videos all the time, all the time, all the time. I'm telling you, all the time. <laughs> and then um, you started promoting the events. And it's like, 
I'm only in Connecticut. I cannot let a two hour drive hold me back from getting this work. <laughs> like I need to go, go out here, meet these people, see the information firsthand. And then once I saw it firsthand, I said, how can I be involved? I just thought to myself, how can I get involved? You know, just with what I do, I'm not, I'm not on the level of any of the scholars that, 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 that show up on here. And I'll be the, I'll be the first to admit it. Yes, I am knowledgeable, but I'm, I'm not. Yeah, but you are, brother, because everyone has a lane. That yes. So I said, so where's my lane? Same thing. We are not on your level when it comes to doing what you do. Okay. See, so we all have our lane. And I really wanted to just say, you know what? But I do have my lane that 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 connects. Right. So I go to your. I've been to how many events? Four, three. I, that's where I met you at one time. I've been I so I've been to three events. Mm-hmm. You introduced yourself to me and we started talking yep. for a minute. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you something. When I left, I like like you know I forgot who, who this brother of is. Course. You know what I'm saying? Because there was so many people coming up to me. Of course. So I never really like. Hold on to that. So yes. I met you, and it was like, okay, I met the brother, and I moved on, mm. talking to the other brothers. But then Sanko was like, yo, did my man, you heard the song? My man got a song, so you got to hear the song. And I was like, all right, well, let me hear the song. All you know, all you, right. you know what, you know what else I said? I said, how could I, how could I fit in? That was the question. I said, how could I fit in with what I do? How could I fit in with what I do? Now, this is for the viewers that are on the other side because just yesterday, I was on the other side of the camera, just like you are, watching it live, watching the videos on Sidenetta. And if you feel like you have a craft that, that, that fits in the house of consciousness, bring it to the platform, showcase it on the platform. They are open and willing for you to do it because they want to build and connect. And and when I went to the event, that was my first question that I asked Sankofa. I said, so how do I how do I get in? And he called me. First, we just started a converse, conversation, having a conversation. I shared what I do. Before we even got into exactly what I do, we were just building. So that just showed me how down to earth you know, the, the house of consciousness is because I said, I said, how can I, I, what I really said, I said, I think I found my family. Like, you know, like I really said, I said, I think I found my family. I think I found not only my family, but I also found my market where if I display my music, there's going to be people that appreciate it, right. you know, because they listen. I released a project a uh, couple years ago called The Next Dimension. Just based off the title alone goes over people, the, the people in the streets head that I'm, that I'm close to. And, and it was just like, I need to really find the people that I connect with. And I came to the House of Consciousness. So, yeah, that, and now I'm here. So, once again, I love the House of Consciousness. <laughs> Thank you, brother. And the House of Consciousness love you, brother. <laughs> So go ahead, close out. That's a, so, close so yeah, I just want to close out to. People know how they can um, find you on Facebook. Do that again. Okay. We're close out with that. All right. So that could be the last thing on they when they mm, see it. Right in their mind. They know how to go right to it. So <laughs> definitely. Them Facebook. Let them know how they can get in contact with you. Email your YouTube channel. Most definitely. You can get in contact with me. Follow me on Instagram, actually. I use Instagram all the time. I be posting crazy memes that'll make you think. And then on top of that, I I I. I have a hashtag called Daddy Time on um, Instagram. So every Instagram pic that I post with my family, because I spend a lot of time with my family, um, I post pics with them and I hashtag Daddy Time. So if you want to see some crazy pictures that me and, me and my family get into, you can definitely go see that. But my Instagram displays are all around what you see here. Just me being me, me being a family man, me being a, 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 a very uh, deep, brother into the music but then on top of that deep into the knowledge so you'll be able to see that on instagram and then you can contact me through my email which is dolo mission ent now I, dolo mission ent is actually my um what i would say my label where i want it to be a edutainment mm -hmm. company where we only do conscious music we only do conscious movies we only do 
conscious books, anything. Everything has to be conscious. So, and I call it dolo mission because when you step on your path on to finding your purpose and being about your purpose, it gets kind of lonely out there. You know what I'm saying? So you on you solo dolo is what they call it. Shout out to solo. But um you solo dolo. And I felt it was a dolo mission for me to be on this purpose, be on my purpose. So dolo mission, you can contact me on dolo mission ent at gmail.com. Okay. Dolo mission ent.com is the website. You'll be able to pre-order. Um, starting soon, we're gonna actually set up the pre-order in in the next couple weeks. We're just we're typing up the the final stages of that and things of that nature. So, but um, also you can hit me on Twitter. The same thing, Dolo Mission E N T. Um, and where where else? Oh, YouTube, YouTube. My videos on YouTube. You can type it in P U P. I've changed. P-U-P, Mind, Body, and Soul. That'll take you right to my channel, which is Dolo Mission ENT, and subscribe. Peace. Peace, uh, brother Sam Cobra. Come on, close out for us, brother. Spokesman. Okay, House of Consciousness. Okay, we did it again. We're going to keep doing it. Bringing you in, uh, not just knowledge, insight, information, but also edutainment. You know, we're covering a vast um, conglomerate of that which exists in our community from a conscious perspective. So like I said before, and I'm going to reiterate, people who are scholars, deals with the scholarship, people who are dealing to liberate the mind, of course, people who are dealing with the healing uh, holistically, you know, to heal the body, people who are dealing with the art form of music to heal the soul, the spirit, and raise the frequency of the con in the consciousness in the minds of our people. We're covering that. We're going to keep bringing that to you because that's what this platform is for. The community is full of talent. The community is full of passionate people who want to see a, a transformation, a transition in the state that our people are in and who are willing and ready contributors to make that a reality. My brother Pup right here is just one of them, one of many of them. And there's a lot of people out there in the viewership that are watching this, that are passionate, that have something to bring to the table. So always know that House of Consciousness is for the people. House of Consciousness, and we're not somewhere and uh Un, that we're, un, we're not somewhere where as we're unreachable. You can find us out on 125th Street, right in the black mecca of Harlem, New York City. Always out there, always kicking it. You know what I'm saying? We hold things for the community. You know, at the National Black Dead, Alhambra Ballroom, so the people can come together in unison to come to general consensus on what truth is, what works for us, what we ought to weed out, what we ought to incorporate. Also, we're covering the music. We have the, the battle rappers coming on the scene. We have the youth with the passion. And we're also, a brother right here is covering things that are beyond a lot. Because a lot of us, we talk about, and it's very important that we talk about the things that we do. Because there are a multiplicity of the, um, the illnesses, of the epidemics, of the pathologies that are consuming us as a people. So everybody has to play their part and play, bring whatever talent that they have to the table to be a contributing factor that's geared towards the healing process. You know, um, somebody, brothers and sisters that are out there, that you're talented, you think you have what it takes to come to the, uh, bring it to the table and, you know, and bring something to the, uh, through this, this platform on the House of Consciousness to the people that'll be worthwhile and that will contribute to that collective healing. We always open doors for you because once again, the house of consciousness is for the people. This is not a masquerade or a facade. This is real right here. We are here for the people. We interact with the people. We engage with the people from every walks of life and aspects of our community that we come from. From di with different levels of consciousness, everybody's not super conscious that we deal with. Everybody, everybody's not, some people become that, but everything happens in stages. Everything is a process of growth and development. So a lot of people started just watching the House of Consciousness and were inspired. Might have tapped into or upgraded the level of consciousness or create a b creativity that they already had within them. You know, see, we have the ability to do that because we was created to be creators. You know, so in doing so, we are shifting and changing the paradigm of negativity. This is our contribution. This is our offering. And we're going to continue to keep doing that on this platform because we take this serious. 
Yeah, I have a regular job, nine to five, but this is my job. This is my real work. I'm never going to get fired from this or quit. This is to the death right here, you know? That's where my heart is, and I'm sure I'm not alone in, in feeling that passion, you know? So, you know, I want to say peace, black power to everyone out there, to the viewership. Stay tuned to House of Consciousness, Sardinetta TV, Black News 102. Support my brother right here. Support the cause and the initiative. He is talking about health issues in the community. We talk about a lot of things. We talk about history. But history, as I said before, is not the only shackle. Not knowing history is not the only shackle that we need to break. That is one of many. The health epidemics in the community. Healing is necessary, you know? Um, there's so many different pathologies, as I said, that we need to address. Um, missing children in, a, in the black community. Over 100,000 a year missing. This is an outcry that we need to talk about. We're serious about the upliftment and the liberation and the advancement of our people. We need to cover the vast array of pathologies and illnesses that exist within our community. But everybody bring what they have to the table to do what they're able to do in combating these epidemics, okay? And House of, Pla House of Consciousness, we're a platform that anybody who has any gift, talent, qualification, capability, or desire to do so, our doors are open for you. On that note, I wanna say peace, black power, and continually stay tuned. All right, thank you, my brother Sankova. That was beautifully said, and um, I agree with you 100%. Those of y'all who know me, you know I open my doors up to the youth. Because I always say, if you ain't got no youth in your movement, we ain't got nothing. You see what I'm saying? So peace and black power, family. One more thing. Go ahead, my brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just one more thing. Because he, he, what he did, <laughs> what he did, he said that, you know, I, I speak on the health. And I want to really take it down to how serious I really am about this health situation. Because the music... Yes, I want to release this album for the support, but it it's not only going to help me support my mom in this healing process, but what I need to do is really take this healing process very seriously, where I need to put my full attention on this healing process. So I'm releasing this, but then Releasing it and letting it be. Yes, I'm going to be out here doing what we do on, on, on the camera or perform and things of that nature. But I'm only going to perform to promote better health and promote the, the process of uh, the process to uh, the battle to know thyself because it's, 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 it's prevalent that I it's primitive that I really focus on my mom like that is my. Focus, 100% focus right now. I'm, I'm not even going to take up no other projects until this healing process has reached this point, has reached the peak. Okay? No other projects. This is what I'm focusing on. I'm, roll, I'm giving myself all the way out there. I'm, show, I'm showing you my value. And then I'm, show, I'm telling you what I'm about to be doing in the background now. So when you see me, you know what it really is. Go ahead. I'm taking care of my mom and my children. Main focus is healing my mom and taking care of my children. Okay? And he, once we get through this healing process, we gonna, we, we, sky's the limit now. You know that, right? Sky's the limit. I'm going to write a whole album about healing. I'm going to write an album about health. I'm going to write an album about breaking cancer i'm a i'm a i'm a right album about different the way the foods is made i'm a i'm tapping into all of that so i'm a step back and let everyone enjoy this album as i focus on healing my mom and i need you to support this album so i can 100 percent focus on my mom thank you and brother, I want to say that that's excellent, and we all need to do that because you're not here begging nobody for nothing. You here making an album, you know what I'm saying, for healing, and we all need that. So like I said, brother, I'm 100% on board 
without a doubt. As soon as you make them, press them up. Call me up right away, your sonetta. I got a box coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do that. We do that pre-release, like the brother said. Let, we'll, do, we'll do like a little commercial again to promote it and let the, let the, let the people know that right. we're looking out for it on the December 13th. All right. Peace and Black Power family. We out. Thank y'all for tuning in to a House of Consciousness sonetta.